Once upon a time, there was a little blue steam engine named Edward, who lived in a shed on the island of Sodor with two other engines. They were both bigger than Edward and often liked to boast about it. Driver and fireman won't choose you again, said Gordon the big engine one morning. They want big, strong engines like us. Edward had not been out for a long time and had begun to feel sad. Just then, the driver and fireman came along to start work. They noticed his glum expression and felt sorry for the little blue engine. What's the matter, old boy? Why are you sad? Would you like to come out today? Oh, yes, please, exclaimed Edward. So the fireman lit the fire, and the driver gently pulled the regulator to help Edward onto the turntable. Look at me now, Edward chortled, as he whistled and puffed away to find some coaches. The other engines were very cross at being left behind. Edward puffed into the yard with a big grin on his face. It wasn't long before he spotted a few coaches in the siding. Oh, please don't bump us like those big engines, they begged as Edward backed down slowly. Don't you worry, my dears, he said kindly, gently stopping with his back buffers just a few inches from those of the first coach. Here we go, here we go, he sang happily as he started. The coaches took a liking to the little blue tender engine. Soon, Edward found his way to the big station and puffed up by the platform where the people were waiting. Come on, get in quickly please! And they did. He waited happily for the guard to blow the whistle and wave his green flag. Edward waited, and waited, and waited. But there was neither a whistle nor a green flag. He was growing anxious. Peep, peep. Where's that guard? The driver and fireman came up to the station master. Excuse me, have you seen the guard? No, I haven't. They turned to the porter. Beg pardon, have you seen the guard? Uh, yes, last night. The fireman sighed. Edward started to grow cross. Are we ever going to leave? Just then, a young boy peeked out of a coach window and shouted, Look, here he comes! Sure enough, there was the guard, running with his flags in one hand and a sandwich in the other. He ran onto the platform, blew his whistle, and quickly jumped into the brake coach. Finally, Edward steamed out of the station. Here we go! Here we go! He sang to the steady beat of his wheels turning. Edward had a grand old time venturing down the line. School children ran to wave as he passed by, and he met new and familiar faces alike at all the stations. Presently, he had grown a bit tired by the time he reached the last station. Well done, old boy, said the driver. You've worked very hard today. Would you like it if we went out again tomorrow? Edward B. That would be lovely. That night, he returned to the shed, the happiest little blue engine he had been in a long time. I'm going out again tomorrow, he said to the other engines. What do you think of that? But he didn't hear what they had thought for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. <laughs>